Hey there yogis, how are you? My name is Crystal Gray. In today's video, we're going to do a 30 minute full body yoga workout. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit tricky. There's a really fun balancing section in there. And afterward, you're gonna really feel like you've gotten some strength in your shoulders and in your abs and also in your legs and your booty. So I hope that you enjoy this. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps with the algorithm here on YouTube. And I would love to know in the comments how you like that secret sequence that we're going to do, that balancing sequence. Let me know after we're done in the comments how that was for you. All right, enjoy the practice. So for today's practice, we're actually going to start laying down on the ground. It's a little bit different, I know. But let's go ahead and lay all the way down. And why don't you keep your knees bent so that we don't confuse the body and make it think we're going to go into Shavasana. Keep the knees bent with the feet on the ground and bring your feet as wide as the mat and then let the knees come in towards each other. If it feels good, you can place one hand on the belly and maybe one hand on the solar plexus or up towards the chest. Close your eyes. <sighs> and take a couple of cleansing sighs in through the nose and out through the mouth. <sighs> so letting go of anything that's already been on your mind today. Let it go. <sighs> And then as it feels good, start to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Starting to slow down and deep in the breath. If you're familiar with ujjayi breath, you can begin doing that. Valving the back of the throat, making that sound. But remember, that breath doesn't take a lot of exertion and the sound is not coming from the nose, it's coming from the throat. So it's like you're valving the back of the throat. A couple more breaths here. At any time, feel free to take cleansing breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, just letting go of anything you're working up to the surface. Let's create an affirmation for our practice today. So start to think about how would you like to feel after today's practice? Do you wanna feel calm, energized, inspired? So now to create your own unique affirmation on your inhale, just think I am. And on your exhale, put in your word, how you want to feel. So if it's calm, it's I am on the inhale. Calm on the exhale. We'll do that two more rounds. Very good. All right, now start to slowly blink the eyes open and reach your arms overhead and walk the feet back towards center. So you're just doing like a half of a full body stretch here. All right, now bring both knees in towards the body. Give yourself a little squeeze. You can roll up into a ball and then extend your legs up towards the sky. They don't have to be perfectly straight. Just extend them up, okay? And then bring your hands behind your head. So you're just kind of cradling your head in your hands. You're not pulling on your head ever. Think about drawing your navel towards your spine. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the chest, put it down, pelvis, put it down, both put them down, all right? We're gonna work with the breath, doing some ab work here. So inhale, exhale, think about lifting the chest straight up towards the sky, shoulders come off the mat, exhale, or inhale down. Exhale, just a slight engagement of the low abs will lift the pelvis. You don't have to roll it all the way up, inhale down. Exhale, both. Inhale down. So think about just lifting straight up. Exhale, chest. Inhale, down. Exhale, engage the low abs, which might lift the pelvis, might not. Inhale, down. Exhale, both. Inhale, down. Exhale, chest. Inhale, down. Exhale, hips. Inhale, down. Exhale, both. Inhale, down. Exhale, chest. Inhale, down. 
exhale hips so just think about engaging the abs and don't even think about lifting inhale down exhale both inhale down let's do two more rounds exhale chest inhale down exhale pelvis inhale down exhale both hold here for ten nine eight breathe seven six five four three two one. Oh my gosh why did i say ten <laughs> so hard all right very good just relax for a second bring your feet down to the ground let's do another full body stretch but this time extend your legs straight out arms overhead maybe arch your back a little bit Whew. good all right bend your knees back in now cross the legs at the ankle ankles we're gonna rock and roll three times if that feels good for you then you're gonna see if on the third time you can actually roll up to the feet Hands in front and step back to your downward facing dog. All right, let's get comfortable here. Walk it out, bending and straightening the alternate legs, shifting the hips a little bit from side to side. Waking up the body, keeping the shoulders rolled away from each other, keeping the forearms rolled in so that the knuckles stay heavy. Good, all right, now slowly start to walk your feet forward towards your hands, coming into your mountain pose feet, so either big toes touching or the, the bone of the big toes touching, or feet can be about a couple inches apart, but no wider than that. Hands to your shins or onto the ground. Inhale, flat back, so lengthen flat back. You might need to bring your hands to your shins. Exhale, fold over the legs, bend the knees so you can tip the pelvis forward. Push into the feet, look out in front of you, and then inhale, rise all the way up, circle the arms out to the sides and overhead, palms touch. Exhale, bring the hands down through center today. Very good. Bring your arms by your sides, and let's come into our standing mountain pose. Lift your toes, spread them apart, grip them down. Make sure that you're not hyperextending the knees, so just a gentle squeeze in the quads to bring out that hyperextension. Neutral out the pelvis, so maybe you want to tuck, lift the tailbone, tuck the tailbone, lift the tailbone, tuck the tailbone a couple times. Lift the rib cage up to lengthen the spine, arms by the sides. Relax the shoulders, chin parallel to the ground. Find your gazing point out in front of you. Come back to your affirmation. All right, so let's move into a sun salutation A, but we're gonna add on a little bit of flair, we'll call it, and just to make it more of a full body workout. So exhale, push down into the feet. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, bring the hands down through center as you fold. Inhale, come to your monkey pose. Chest forward, shoulders back. Exhale, step back to plank. Hold here. Push into the hands. Think about rounding the space in between the shoulder blades. So navel towards the spine. Let's push forward with the toes and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, now push forward, lower down with or without the knees in a straight line, elbows in. Uncurl the toes. Inhale, chest forward and up, come into your cobra pose. Exhale, please lower back down so we can really build some strength. Curl the toes under, pull the shoulders away from the mat. See if you can lift your belly first and do a couple little push-ups. Your chest might not even lift up off the mat. Then push up however you can, oh my gosh, and then downward facing dog. So we don't want to skip all those things. We don't want to make the practice easier, okay? So yes, you want to be gentle with your body and listen to your body and not push past your limits, but you don't want to just fly by and skip all of those opportunities to build strength, okay? Because too often that happens and then we wonder why we can't do these advanced poses and it's because you're just skipping through and your ego's getting in the way. Take your time, do the hard things. Do the things that are so hard that it makes you feel stupid, right? Do those. You have to take some time. You have to put the ego in check. So now either hold your down dog or let's do a couple little bunny hops. Now, my mat moves, so 
I always have to kind of move my mat out of the way. But let's do a couple little bunny hops. So you're in your downward facing dog. Walk your feet in a couple inches, big toes touch, okay? Bend your knees on your inhale, look forward. On the end of your exhale, you're gonna walk or hop, or sorry, you're going to do a little hop or a big hop. Okay, so just do a couple of those. And then after your third one or fourth or fifth, whatever, you can hop forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine, monkey. Exhale, fold over the legs. Push into the feet, look out in front of you. Inhale, rise up, circle your arms out to the sides and overhead, palms touch. Exhale, bring your hands to center. Breathe. Whew. Take some cleansing breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. I'm getting hot. Okay, exhale, push down into the feet. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead, palms touch. Exhale, bring your hands down through center. Inhale, come to your monkey pose. Now exhale, you can walk back to plank or hop to bent elbows, chaturanga. Hold your chaturanga. <laughs> if you walked back to plank, push forward and then lower down and see if you can hold it 90 degrees, draw your shoulders back. Okay, push through to cobra or upward facing dog and hold. In your upward facing dog, belly button is in between the forearms. You guys, if you're back like this, or if it's hard for you to arch the back, then I want you to lower your pelvis down so you can make the upper spine kind of disappear into the back. So you should be able to draw the spine forward towards the front body as you reach the chest forward, shoulders back. If you're an up dog and your shoulders are forward, I would spend some time in your cobra. Okay, exhale, engage your abs, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Take some breaths. So yogi's choice, you can hang out in down dog or take a few of those jumps. I'm gonna hang out in down dog because I don't feel like moving my mat. But you feel free. If you're gonna take the jumps, walk the feet in a couple inches, big toes touch, bend your knees. Inhale, look forward. At the end of the exhale, little or big hop. And then you, your feet land back in your down dog. And then you inhale and then you exhale, hop. Thinking about trying to get your booty up over your wrist. Do one more. Hop, and back down. Good, then you can bend your knees, inhale, look forward at the end of the exhale, walk or hop to the front of the mat, mountain pose feet. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold, push into the feet, look out in front of you. Inhale, rise up, circle the arms up overhead, palms touch. Exhale, hands to your heart. Whew. Okay, bring your arms by your sides. Take a couple breaths here. I told you this was intermediate. We haven't really done any crazy poses yet, but it is a workout for sure. So now what we're gonna do is we will put three poses together. So again, these aren't really crazy poses but it is gonna be challenging because we're stringing three of them together, okay? And we're gonna try to hold our balance. So what we're gonna do is come up to the front of the mat and just have your hands on your hips. Bring your left, hand, left foot behind you, coming onto the toes, okay? So you wanna think about being in a straight line from the heel to the crown of the head already. So you're not lifting your chest here. You wanna draw your navel towards your spine, your low ribs and hips towards each other. Now with your standing leg, try not to lock it. So squeeze the quads so you're not locking the knee. As it feels good, you can start to lift the back toes off the ground. You can bring your hands to your heart, palms touch. Back toes are pointing down, again, straight line from the heel to the crown of the head. Draw the shoulders back. This is gonna be probably the hardest part of the practice. Okay, now slowly come up, but don't let that foot touch and come into figure four chair. So cross the left ankle over the right knee and bend the right knee like you're sitting back into a chair. There should be a triangle 
in between your two legs. You're not crossing the leg all the way over. Flex the left foot so that we keep the knee safe. Tilt the pelvis forward, push the hips back, draw the chest forward. And then you go as far as you can go with keeping a long spine. Okay, I hate to tell you this, but we're not done. We're gonna come into half moon. So you're gonna slowly come up, make sure you're finding your gazing point. Oh my gosh, my right leg is burning. Okay, come back into your warrior three, then start to lower your right hand down open the hips left toes point to the left left hand up lengthen the spine reach the chest forward towards the front of the mat as well as the upper back so really the entire rib cage you're reaching forward all right now come into standing splits oh my gosh you can stay there do a couple little handstand hops If handstand's part of your practice, maybe you catch it. Bring both feet down and come into a yogi squat. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. Whew, take a couple cleansing breaths. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, you guys, after we're done with the practice, how you liked that. It was, it was pretty tricky, I'm not gonna lie, it was tricky for me as well. My right leg's still a burning. Let's come into a forward fold and just kind of release that leg. And let's actually come back to downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up and then just move it around. And then bring it down, walk it out. Shift your hips. And then walk the feet forward. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. Arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart. Okay, so now we just have to do that on one more side and then we're gonna start to chill out. Okay, so strong base in the left foot. Bring your right foot behind. All the weight's gonna go now into your left foot. Make sure not to hyperextend the standing knee. Okay, draw your low ribs and hips towards each other. Hands can come to the heart. As it feels good, lift your back toes off of the ground, toes point down, draw your chest forward. <sighs> Building that burn here. Okay, slowly come up, don't let the foot touch, come into figure four chair, cross the right leg over the left, well, more the right ankle. Tilt the pelvis forward, draw the chest forward. Your hips might still be a little bit crabby because we didn't do really any hip stretches. So don't feel like you need to go really far. Oh my gosh. Hope you guys are feeling this burn with me. Slowly come up, come back into your warrior three. Ooh. And then half moon. Arda. Chandrasana B. It's okay if you fall out of it. Don't be mad at yourself. Open the hips, stack the hips, tuck the tailbone and bring the pelvis into neutral. Open the chest, reach the torso forward and standing splits. Oof. I hope I'm making as crazy noises as I want to give you guys the uh, freedom to do that as well because I don't know how, it just helps. Now you can do a couple little handstand hops if you want. Maybe you catch it, maybe you don't, who cares? Walk back into your downward facing dog. Walk it out. If you wanna lift the leg up, you can move it around. And then bring your feet as wide as your mat and walk your hands back to your feet into our last yogi squat. So heels can be down if they touch, it's all right if they don't. Push the knees away with your elbows, lengthen your spine. Very good, and then however you can come to seated, you can do that. Just cross the legs for a moment. Take some breaths, get a drink if your water's handy. Slow down the breath. So now let's see if you can inhale to four or five and exhale to five, six, or seven. So letting the exhale be longer than the inhale now to really start to cool it down. All right, Whew. 
Let's extend the left leg out and the right leg in. Now, for the right foot, I don't like to bring it all the way into the body. I like to keep the right foot more in line with the left knee. Now, have the both knees are pointing straight up, okay? Bring your right hand behind. Now, you might need to move your belly over your right leg. Oh, and also, I like to keep the right foot about hips width away from the extended knee, okay? So on your inhale, sit up tall, and on your exhale, twist, twisting from the mid and upper back, letting the shoulders relax away from the ears. On your inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. If it's available to you to hook the arm over the knee, that's fine, but make sure to keep the spine long. Don't round, lift the chest. Good, and then come back to center. Just twist a little bit in the opposite direction. And then back to center. Now, bring the right foot to the inside of the inner left thigh, letting the right knee drop down gently to the right. Pull the left sitting bone back a little bit, so you're kind of pulling your booty back to start to tip your pelvis forward, okay? If your pelvis does not tip forward, bend your front knee a little bit, and that should give you more mobility in the pelvis. On your inhale, lengthen, exhale, tilt the pelvis. I, if I was with you in person, this is what I would look for, is to make sure that you're not rounding and bringing the head towards the knee. Instead, I want you to think about keeping the spine long and reaching the chest towards the big toe. Keep the shoulders relaxed back, tuck the chin slightly, left toes pointing up. So Janushirsasana, really slowing down the breath, slowing down the heart rate. Relax the forehead, relax the jaw. Awesome. And slowly come up. Let's switch it out. Right leg out, left foot in. Okay, so left foot's in line pretty much with the knee. It's about hip width apart. Both knees are pointing straight up. Okay, bring your left hand behind. Maybe pull your belly over the leg a little bit on your inhale length and on your exhale twist. Perhaps you hook the arm over the knee, but don't let the ego get in the way. If it makes you collapse, nobody cares if you have your elbow crossed over the leg if you're collapsed. Nobody cares anyway, right? And so lengthen the spine and you can always just hold on to the knee. Doesn't make you more enlightened if you can do the more advanced stuff, you guys. So this is Marichi Asana C, in case you are just dying to know. Some of you I know are going to want to be teachers, so you can start practicing the Sanskrit with me. Whenever I say it, then you practice it. It's Marichi Asana C. Okay, and then unwind, and then just twist a little bit in the opposite direction. Come back to center. Now bring your left foot to the inner right thigh, letting the knee drop out to the side. Pull the flesh back away from the sitting bone. Start to tip your pelvis forward again. If your tailbone keeps tucking under, bend the front knee so you can tip forward more. There's no shame in keeping the front knee bent a little bit. Listen to your body on your inhale, lengthen on your exhale, tilt. Really, to me, the sign of an advanced yogi is not someone who's going super far into the poses. It's someone who's listening to their body and knows their limits. They're going to where they feel sensation. And also someone who is committed to taking their yoga off the mat, not just on the mat. Very good. And then slowly rise up. So again, that Sanskrit was Janusher Sasana, if you're trying to learn that. Then we're going to lay it on back. Lay it on back. And then let's just bring both knees in towards the chest. Rock a little bit from side to side. Then keep your right knee in and extend your left leg long. Reach it out. Good, if it would feel good, you can hold the back of the right thigh and just extend the right heel up. Don't make this hurt, just a very gentle stretch. Doesn't have to look like mine. Remember, this is my job, I do it every day. 
Okay, and then switch it out. Left leg in, right leg out. If you like, interlace the hands behind the left leg, extend the right, the left heel up. So the leg might not get straight, that's okay, it doesn't matter. Good, and then last time, bring both knees in. If it would feel good to curl up in a little ball, do that. And then bring your feet down, extend your legs out, arms by your sides, hands a little bit wider than the mat. Let the feet fall out to the sides. They're also about as wide as the mat. Close your eyes. Take a couple cleansing breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. And then just start breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Moving through the body on your own, starting up at the crown of the head, just very slowly check in with each part of your body, moving very slowly all the way down to the toes, letting go of any last bits of tension that could be left. Start deepening your breath. <sighs> Taking a couple cleansing breaths or cleansing sighs as needed. <sighs> and then bring some movement back into the fingers and toes, wrists and ankles. And then reach your arms up overhead, reach the heels in the opposite direction, stretching every part of your body, maybe even doing a side stretch from side to side, and then full body stretch again. And then slowly bend your knees, roll onto your right hand side, using your right arm for a pillow. Just breathe here, feeling the lungs and ribs expand in every direction, front, back, and sides. And then with the strength of your arms, slowly push yourself up to seated, letting your head be the last thing to come up. You can cross your legs, put your non-dominant leg in front, pull the flesh away from the sitting bones. Sit up tall, relax the shoulders, chin parallel to the ground, palms open on the knees, eyes still closed. Come back to your affirmation, a couple rounds with your breath. Let the face relax in the jaw. Very good. And then slowly circle your hands together in front of your heart, letting your palms touch. Let's take one final breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. <sighs> And then bow your head to where it feels good for you. Bring your thumbs from your heart center up to your third eye, your forehead, acknowledging the energy that's within you, around you, connects us all together and never goes away. That energy within me acknowledges the energy within you. And I thank you so very much for letting me guide you through this practice today. Namaste. So before you go, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already so that you can continue to get my weekly flows. And also I'm doing a lot more daily tutorials. So not every day of the week, but I am doing a lot more post tutorials. So if you wanna learn how to break down some poses, just find my uh, playlist that's all about tutorials and let me know in the comments how you liked that sequence going from Warrior Three into our 
figure four chair into half moon how was that were you able to hold it i would love to know and love to know if you're going to continue to work on that all right yogis have a great day bye